Officials from the Memphis Police Department held a press conference after a body found in the city has been identified as 34-year-old elementary school teacher Eliza Fletcher. Fletcher was an heiress to the Oracle Company Fortune, who was abducted while on a run Friday. Memphis police officers on Monday found the body that matched Fletcher's description, but did not confirm at the time the identity of the victim, writing in a tweet, the FBI and Tennessee Bureau of Investigations, investigation is ongoing. Fletcher had been missing for four days after being last seen on a run shortly after 4 a.m. Friday morning, appearing in surveillance footage to have been abducted by a man driving a black GMC terrain SUV. Their quote, appeared to be a struggle during the abduction, according to a police affidavit, which also stated the police found, quote, physical evidence that she suffered serious injury. Memphis police on Tuesday also charged 38-year-old Cleotha Abson with first-degree murder and first-degree murder in perpetration of kidnapping. Good morning. Today is a very sad day in the city of Memphis. First, I'd like to express our sincere condolences to the family, friends, and numerous others who have been impacted by the tragic and heinous kidnapping of Eliza Fletcher. Yesterday evening, September 5th, at approximately 5.07 p.m., the Memphis Police Department and other law enforcement partners discovered the remains of a body a human body in the rear of a vacant duplex apartment at the 1600 block of Victor Street. At that time, it was believed the unidentified body could possibly be the remains of kidnapping Eliza Fletcher. For the forensic investigation by the MPD traffic unit positively identified the body was in fact Eliza Fletcher. This finding marked the culmination of a four-day intensive investigation incorporating a robust search and rescue effort and the timely arrest of suspect Kyoto Aston on September 3rd. The day following the kidnapping. Kyoto Aston has been charged by MPD homicide investigators with the following state charges First degree murder, first degree murder and perpetration. 